Hey everyone, probably gonna be a pretty quick video today. I just wanted to show you guys some really cool old abutments that used to carry a road bridge over the Madabesset River behind me from Cromwell where I'm standing into Berlin. This structure was probably built by the Berlin Iron Bridge Company in the 1880s and it was destroyed in the late 1960s and all that's left of it today are these abutments. In fact, this spot in the middle of the river directly behind me is the tri-point border between Middletown, Connecticut, Cromwell, Connecticut, and Berlin, Connecticut. And when the bridge was still here, the bridge was actually owned by all three towns. This bridge was destroyed on December 7th, 1967, when a man from Voluntown, Connecticut named Donald Bitgood drove a 16-ton truck loaded with stone over it. The bridge, which was at least 80 years old at the time, was only rated for five tons and collapsed beneath him. His truck toppled over 10 feet and landed in the river on its side, right in the direction we're looking at now, taking the bridge with it. Here's a photo of the bridge just after it collapsed. This was probably taken in December 1967, if not before March 1968. Many thanks to the Berlin Historical Society for making this photo available via their Facebook page. Public support for the rebuilding of the bridge was basically nil. By 1967, it was just an obsolete single lane bridge with a wooden deck. It was only 12 to 13 feet wide and it was really not used very often by anybody, seeing as just north of it was a much stronger bridge built in 1933 that carries two lanes of Route 72 across. Today, that bridge is still there and carries Route 372. That bridge has an interesting history of its own. We might check that out sometime. As you can see, not all these vines are made of plant matter. Some of these are actually rebar from the supports of the bridge. There's actually just a little bit of iron left peeking through that's slowly oxidizing away. So this bridge that we're looking at now is just north of where I'm at, still on the Mattabesset River, and it stands as a pretty good example of what the Division Street Bridge would have looked like if it was still around today. This bridge was definitely built by the Berlin Iron Bridge Company. It was actually located on their land while they were still in business here on both sides of the river. Today, it stands in basically totally abandoned condition on private property. I wouldn't be confident putting any weight on it whatsoever. Strangely enough, as you can see, people seem to go down there and swing on a tire. Fascinating idea. Oh, here's a stabbing turtle. There is some wildfire smoke in the air today from the fires happening out west in Canada and in the western United States and possibly from the fires all over the world occurring right now in Europe and Siberia and all of those other places. All right, that's all for this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. We'll be back next month with a new video on another piece of historical Connecticut infrastructure. Have a good one. Take care and Happy New Year.